is Joel. Joel is going to show you how he, a professional painter, cleans his brushes to save paint, money and time in an environmentally sensible way. To do that, it goes like this. No, definitely don't do that. If you're not finished, don't wash the roller or brush just yet. The average roller still has up to 200 grams of paint left on it. You can recover up to three quarters of it by scraping it back into the tin. You can buy this handy dedicated paint and roller cleaning tool for this purpose. And no, it's not a hair comb. Once you've scraped the excess paint back into the tin, wrap the brush or roller in aluminium foil or a plastic bag and unwrap when using it the next day. This means you can get several more uses out of your roller sleeve or brush before it needs to be cleaned. When your paint job is over, make sure to scrape as much of the paint off the brush or roller back into the tin as you can before you start washing it. Without first scraping paint off a roller, it could take up to 20 litres of water to clean. That's worth about 100 cups of tea for Joel. <laughs> This is reduced to less than 10 litres by using the cleaning tool. Now that you've scraped the paint off, you can wash the brush or roller in cold soapy water, ideally inside a bucket or shallow bowl to avoid excess water usage. And then a final quick rinse under the tap. It's that simple. Kind of. It goes like this. Each of these three items, paint, water and decorating tools, all cost hard-earned money and consume valuable resources to manufacture, so it makes perfect sense to use as little as possible, not just for the sake of the environment, but also for your pocket. A well-scraped brush or roller will not only require much less water to clean, but it will also take a lot less time to clean. For example, a roller sleeve without any scraping with a brush or roller cleaning tool may take 10 minutes under a running tap to clean, compared to one which has been scraped first with a brush and roller cleaning tool, which may take just 5 minutes to clean first in a shallow bucket of cold soapy water and then a final quick rinse under a tap. That's a 50% time saving. Anyway, using a brush and roller cleaning tool also prolongs the service life of your brushes and rollers, which is yet another saving. The point is that cleaning your paint brushes and rollers in an environmentally sensible way saves you time and doesn't cost you the earth. It wasn't easy, but we hope that paints the picture for you.